Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Uh, as Doug and I have been showing you, we've been working on the, the uh, probe for the BDST, and we were initially using a PVC pipe. Now, this is a picture of the, the first one I built. Since then, Doug has built one using slightly uh, thinner end caps. But still, you know, we felt that it was it was far from ideal. Uh, so Doug started looking around, and on the uh, on eBay, he took and found these. They're uh, plastic coin storage tubes. They looked to be about the right size, but you know, we knew nothing about them. You know, how thick are they? You know, are they gonna you know bend when you take and try to. Uh, uh, hold them and, you know, just like to, to squeeze them in the hand. Uh, how thick are the end caps? Are they going to work okay and stuff? So he took and ordered some and we were going to take and try them. In the meantime, I was over visiting a friend and uh, when I got ready to leave, I happened to notice on their table that they had a couple coin tubes of uh, and I asked if I could have them. They said, sure, they were going to just take and throw them out. They're collectors, and some of the coins they bought for a collection came in them. Now, they're quarter size instead of uh, penny size. So they're, you know, like uh, almost an inch around. They're, you know, a little too thick, really, you know, for what we were looking for. The penny size, I think, would be ideal. But anyway, I took and brought it home, found the centers of the ends, and took and drilled it. The ends are plenty thick enough to take and hold, as you can see here, the tip mounted a fine in the bottom of it. I mounted the BNC connector in the cap. And, uh, you know, they're, they're good and firm. Uh, the, the tubes don't collapse when you take and try to squeeze them. So I, I think they're going to be ideal for what we're looking for. So I took the... Uh, design we'd been using and took and went into KeyCAD and took and laid it out for a board that size. You know, figuring out what size board was in it. And uh, printed it out so I could take and, uh, you know, use the uh, holes uh, alignment, you know, to get everything lined up correctly. Another comment that was made uh, on our earlier boards is that we were using just the 50-volt uh, 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 capacitors, ceramic capacitors, which, of course, would be no good for working on uh, uh, radios, you know, high-voltage radios. So this, you know, I mean, we, we weren't planning on going with that for the final design anyway. But this one here, I have uh, the uh, first cap there, the 150 nanofarads, a 630 volt film capacitor. The 100 picofarad is a one kilovolt ceramic, so these will handle the uh, the voltage fine. And this is what the components look like uh, laid out on the board. I took and got them exactly where I wanted them or whatever, and then took and soldered the back. You know, being careful not to take and bridge any of the uh, the connections or whatever. And this is what that looks like assembled into the tube, which is another advantage to using the clear tube. It's, it's nice to be able to take and see the components inside the tube. It just adds a little bit uh, more to it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I hooked it up to my... Uh, RF frequency generator set at 455 kilohertz to begin with, and this is what the signal looked like, which, you know, it's got all the RF gone, all that's left there is the audio. Now that second little bump I took and found since I took these pictures, I took and found that's caused because the signal was over-modulated when you take and knock the modulation down that second little hump. Uh, disappears and it looks a lot more like a sine wave. Uh, taking raising the frequency up to 2 megahertz, it looks exactly the same. And even up to 10 megahertz. 
So we're going to take in and uh, keep experimenting with this design and uh, also some of the uh, changes that we're making to the, to the base unit. We have some experimental boards ordered uh, to take and play with that. And slowly but surely, I, I think all the pieces are coming together, and hopefully, you know, in, in the very near future, we'll take and finally get this nailed down and uh, have something that uh, we feel is uh, good enough to take an offer for uh, those people that have been following along and, you know, showing interest in this kind of design. So that's just a short update. I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by and have a good day.